Hi everyone, my name is Ryan Sagan and I'm an interior designer here in LA. We are in my office and I am with Design Milk for my DMTV milkshake. They have sent me questions I've cut up and put in my Soho Bowl by Ryan Sagan. And let's start with question number one. Can you share a key encounter with a film, a person, a museum exhibit, a trip overseas that played a pivotal role in shaping your aesthetic? Well, I would say that Ron Woodson and Jamie Rummerfield of Woodson and Rummerfield's House of Design were huge in shaping my aesthetic and really shaping me and molding me as I interned for them when I was 15. Um, and also, honestly, and I think it's really funny to say and a little silly, um, there was a movie called The First Wives Club, which I'm in love with to this day. And the penthouse of Goldie Hawn in the movie was really, really inspiring for me. And it kind of made me want to design incredible spaces for incredible people like her. Question number two. It's kind of fun. Okay. What does it mean to you to go all in? From a practical perspective, how do you work differently when you're wholly committed? Can you give me your favorite example of going all in in your work? What resulted from it? Okay, so I truly believe that as a designer, as a creative, that the best ideas come from your heart and not your mind. They say that when you're working from your heart and you're working from a place of love, you're actually co-creating with the universe. So when a client gives me a lot of restrictions, whether it be monetary or lifestyle, like I've got kids and they're gonna, I need durable fabrics and all that annoying stuff that can really limit me from getting as creative as I possibly can. That's an example of not going all in. When a client says, here's my budget, go carte blanche, have at it and just go crazy, that's going all in. And for me, those projects, are the ones I'm most proud of because I haven't been restricted. I haven't thought too much. I haven't overthought it. And I've just designed and gone all in. And for me, that's what all in means. And I hope that's what um, you wanted me to say. Next question. What's the last book you read that changed the way you live your life? The Untethered Soul by Michael Singer. Because I had a lot of questions I grew up Jewish, um, grew up reading the Torah with my family, um, didn't connect with higher religion. Obviously, I'd love to be Jewish. I mean, it's fabulous, but had a lot of questions. And this book was all about life beyond yourself and the journey within and the true source of power and what really is the meaning to all of this. And it changed my life. And then a book after that was A Return to Love which goes back to what I was saying about designing from the heart. It talks about how the real thing in life is love and everything else is an illusion. So doing what you love every day is like co-creating with the universe. And it gave me a whole new appreciation for my job. Next question. What famous person, real or fictional, would you most like to design a space for? Okay. I would love to design the White House that is on my list. Um, not for the <laughs> current, <laughs> Never mind. I want to design the White House, but J-Lo. I would love to design Jennifer Lopez's house. So if J-Lo is watching this, I would love to do your house. Love J-Lo. You've said that you would be nowhere without the support of LA's Iranian community. What did that support look like? Can you see evidence of design, Iran's design heritage in your style today? Um, I can't see evidence of Iran's design heritage in my style today, but what I have taken away from them... Okay, so first, you've said that you would be nowhere without the support of LA's Iranian community. Um, what I mean by that is when I first started, I started very young. And what's amazing about the Iranian community is they support each other. And I'd be nowhere without their support in the sense that they gave me opportunities and jobs that I probably would not have gotten if it wasn't for them or that community as a whole. And they helped me build the portfolio of work that I needed to end up having the diverse level of clientele that I have now. Um, 
What you will notice though in my work is I'm really, really good at designing kitchens and entertaining spaces because I learned through them the importance of functional space planning for large families and large parties. Um, so totally walked away from all of those years of designing for my people, learning how to do kitchens that really accommodate an entertainer's lifestyle and durability because damn, they cook with so much, so much ingredients. So learning to design a space that has the durability factor and flows very nicely for big amounts of people. So I think I answered all your questions. Um, thank you so much, Design Milk, for having me and stay safe, everyone.